evening, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you live from the outskirts of the internet, this is the Gaming Saloon for May 30th, 2014. With your host, Peacemaker2448, Rabbit Epsilon, and Tommy Gun2442. Exploit Universe, not fucking be stupid. I don't want to do this intro a third time. It did it. It did it. Yay! <laughs> Exploit's not being dumb. <laughs> It, it wasn't XSplit being dumb, it was XSplit deciding to use the default device, which happened to be my HDMI output, and right. it, it, it proceeded to be a dick when I changed the default device back. Of course uh, it did. <laughs> Alright, folks. A little bit late, we got caught up in the league game, we thought we could get them before the show, but we'll make it up to you by making a really long episode. Well, we were going to make it a really long episode anyhow, but... They don't need to know that. <laughs> they already know it now. Well, poo. Anyway, we went on the assortment of articles. The return of the big topic, since we are just under two weeks away from E3, along with the normal releases and quick draws. So let's get started. Before we hop in, I would like to state a little something that's yet to make site news yet. Our very own Tommy Gun twenty four forty two here is now an operations staff member. Yay! I figured that was coming. Uh, no, no, no claps. He's he's gonna be over the YouTube in terms of putting up videos and stuff. Yes, yes, I am. And and stuff and videos and more stuff and yes. And uh, and more stuff on uh, top of the more stuff. But I felt I that needed to be said. So. Uh, I'll be uh, back. My burrito's ready, and my grandfather's getting antsy. Aw, uh, we, we get to cover the first one without clock. Yep, I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back. Well, first up, who wants a gold bar to go bar with their Xbox One? Uh -oh. Anyone? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Don't oh, uh-oh. I want uh-ohs. I gotta fix stuff. Okay, that's better. I had it screwed up. Uh, we, we still good? Yes. Alright. In Japan! You have a chance of getting an Xbox Gold Plate with your Xbox One. Uh, the Gold Plate weighs 100 grams and weighs 100 grams as Silicon Era apparently <laughs> forgets to put in something else there. <laughs> <laughs> the That's an plate. estimate Why value of 100 grams and weighs 100 grams. Wait. Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe it weighs 200 grams. <laughs> but it has an estimated value of $4,000. So they're giving someone a $4,000 gold bar just for spending $400 on a console. Probably. Yeah, Go play as part is smart. Yeah. Grand Prize and Microsoft Japan's Xbox One Journey promotional campaign. Uh, along with that, you have a chance to win Marshall Thanmore speakers, Xbox Original Blue light cut glasses, Xbox and Xbox One promotional goods, and other prizes for the social media campaign. So, yes. And you also need to be in Japan to get this. Unfortunately, those of us stateside can't do this. Or else I would totally totally buy into this, and I would totally turn that gold bar around and get the actual fucking cash out of it. Just saying. I mean, the gold bar looks nice and all, but uh, $4,000 sounds better than a hunk of gold. Yeah. It's like, can I get four? You gotta get this in actual cash so I can actually go spend it. Is uh, yeah, Walmart doesn't accept the gold bars. <laughs> I'll give them credit. They're 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 at least making something interesting. <laughs> I still don't know how to take this. Because that kind of seems dumb. Eh. They're giving them four thousand dollars in an investment, and, and that just just about it. Oh yeah. 
What the hell? Also, I saw the notice. Also, we got. I'm guessing oh, those oh, gamer oh, glasses are very precious to me. Something's playing. No, I'm coming for them. Yeah, I'm probably the IGN one. Autoplay, remember? Stupid bullshit, autoplay, IGN. Damn it, IGN! And that wasn't supposed to have a video! And yet it does, because IGN has autoplay on every fucking article that has a damn video! Why? Because! We want to annoy the shit out of you! Uh, Fuck geez. Firefox. <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> it is lagging! Four tabs and it goes... <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've I've had to hard connect my laptop to the internet because it's a uh, it's not being cooperative at the moment. But again, my internet's not been cooperative lately. Mine's not either. But this is all Firefox. Everything is chugga chugga chug. <laughs> but as I was saying. I also saw that they have a, what I assume to be those gamer glasses you see at Best Buy that you can get. The fuck is the point of those? I like, don't know. Ser like seriously, what the fuck is the point of those? That's supposed to make you better. I think I actually don't... it's supposed to reduce like the glare and stuff. So it's normal sunglasses. Pretty much, yeah. But you it's need for to wear indoor sun use. Why do you need to wear sunglasses in fucking doors? Motherfucker, you in and you, motherfucker, you indoors. You don't need to be wearing your sunglasses. <laughs> like we are here. Do you, do you not hear us having a conversation? Obviously not. I'm trying to delay so you could get back <laughs> before we cover too many articles without you. Yes. As I'm fighting with Chrome. Now. Uh, yeah. Fuck Firefox. Yeah. Fuck it in the ass. <laughs> I'm pissed. They broke Firefox. Hey, my Firefox is kind of shutting down a bit. Yeah, see? What the hell is going on? How many tabs you got up? Two! Yeah. Anything with video, it starts... Shutting down on me. The fuck is going? Firefox, what you do? Firefox, what you I think it's Flash. Probably is Flash. I think it's about time for a Flash update. Mm-hmm. Because it always does this crap. Oh come right. on now! The whole computer's gonna go slow. Oh, don't do it, X split. Thank you. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> that was not boding well right there. Well, I guess while we wait on Glock, should we start talking about the next article? If things are going to calm down a bit? Um. We only covered one while you were gone, Glock. God damn it. <sighs> really, Glock? You gonna bitch about that? No, he was just like, second article? Oh. Because he thought we went further, apparently. Really, Glock? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. Hold on, because I'm kind of fighting with Firefox, trying to get it to shut off. Fuck off, Firefox. Oh, I think you might be in a better boat than the two of us, Glock, just saying. Why? Using Google something. Chrome. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> I am so about to switch to Opera for the rest of the show. It might not hurt to. Ah. <laughs> 
Yeah. This is getting... Technical difficulties, technical difficulties. Piss off Flash, you piece of shit. We'll find out if it's Flash or if it's Firefox right here in a second. Because I swear if the articles load without a problem in Chrome, it has to be Firefox. Of course, you know what's bad? I went back to Firefox when Chrome got real slow on me the last time. What? Tommy? What? Disconnected again, didn't I? Okay, what was that? My heard that being a bit derpy at the moment. <laughs> We we just having all the problems tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All of them. <laughs> it's uh, I th I think this is a case of the universe says we should not be doing this. Well, fuck the universe. We're doing it anyway. Exactly. We will fight through everything. <laughs> oh wow, wow, Chrome, you're working. <laughs> Last time I did this, you wanted to be a dick and take forever. Thank you. Now I'll watch my screen region be fucked up. That won't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I think it is a little bit. And yes, I flashed the next article a little bit. Ah. <laughs> so let's move into it. Alright, next up, we get a little bit of an update on God Gotham damn Night. it, IGN. I know it's you too now. Now I'm coming uh, for them. But yes, Arkham Knight. We got our first look at the gameplay of Arkham Knight. We're gonna be taking a look at that. <laughs> Video to back up and be nice. And it's Firefox. Chrome's not doing it. Fantastic. Damn it, Firefox. You were fine earlier today, goddammit. Alright then. Wait, wait, wait. Were you going to attempt to get BQ up on all, all yes. queued up and ready? Yes. Lock you get? Because I can queue it up and be ready. I'll take the silence as a yes, or just to move on without him. So, let's take a look at Batman Arkham Knight gameplay in 3, 2, 1, go. Damn, what the hell? Peggy Thank 16. You. Fuck it, oh well. I'm a few seconds behind you because it kind of lagged Gotham. on the play. This okay. is your only warning. Abandon this city, or I will unleash your greatest fears. Tonight, Gotham falls. A city of fear rises. I, did you not hear me do the countdown, damn it, Glock? Mm -hmm. uh, in your back. We have Bart right we're in the middle of watching it, by the way. We don't stand a chance. Show off that Batmobile. Also, hi, Oracle.
for your now to get to get the Holly Quinn DLC. Hello. It's welcome. Okay, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Hearing a what I assume to be Arkham Knight's voice again, I hear a tinge of Joker in him. Just just a tinge. Hmm. It's the, it's the way he ended that last uh, phrase that makes me go Joker. It sounds vocally the same. Kind of. But yeah, it's gonna uh, be interesting good. to see how they do that one. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Not. I want to get to see a little bit of gameplay in there. Just saying, <laughs> a lot of it looked like cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, I think there was a little bit in there, here, a little bit here and there, but I think a lot of it was running off in-game engine. But, yeah, Arkham runs off in-game engine all the time, so... At least we know how it's going to look in-game. For the most part. Looks good overall. Yeah. Any other thoughts before we move on? Mm -hmm. I know Glock said he, said, uh, it, he didn't see in-game footage. Looked a lot like cutscenes, but Arkham runs off the in-game engine. Let's move on. I will fight Firefox all night. I don't care. <laughs> if his computer will let him. Into the next thing. Yes. With the Watch Dogs ad at the top of the IGN page. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it's not one of those website taking taking up half the damn website ads. I'm back. Seriously. All right, we're on to the third one, Glock. All right, hold on. <sighs> Which is none other than but yeah, Halo, the Master Chief collection. Play out of that. Arkham usually, with all their cutscenes, runs off in runs off the in-game engine. None of it's really pre-rendered. Huh. Those so more, I guess, it was more of a take on the look at the the engine they're running Arkham Knight on. Yeah. I could catch gameplay a little bit here and there. I didn't really catch anything. Alright. Next up, something we held off to this week to talk about. The Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, according to a report from Engadget, the Master Chief Collection will include remastered versions of Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, 3, and 4, and will be out this year. Sounds like this is going to do something along the lines of what we've been doing on Mondays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Microsoft stole your idea. What a bunch of jerks. You're, you jerks? Either that or great minds think alike, one of the two. Yep. Well, wait a minute. Minds uh, think yeah. alike. <laughs> we've already uh, proven a few times that Microsoft's not long on brains. I uh, believe this will be coming out on Xbox One. Yep, on Xbox One. And Microsoft has declined to comment on this. So. I kind of hope they would do something like this for uh, 360 also. But I understand that the most the, you could do with CE 2 and 3 would be bring it up to force level in terms of graphics. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, that's really all you could do. Yeah, Going I'll, to the Xbox One, you could up the game for all four of the games. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to come back to this a little bit when we start talking about the Microsoft's press conference. Because I have a theory about uh, how, uh, a l at least a little bit of how Microsoft's press conference is going to go with this and the announcement of Halo 5 Guardians from last time. <laughs> But I was like, that's a neat idea. Or Except we don't for the it. fact that CE's already been remastered, though. So we get a double remaster, and Halo 4 is not that old to begin with. Yeah. I think maybe the reason why they've yet to comment on it is because maybe they're even debating on whether to include Halo 4 in it. 
I mean, yeah. if it's going to be an Xbox One exclusive, then I could understand that. But if yeah. they have plans on bringing it to 360 also to kind of give Halo 2 and 3 the remaster they need, then really they don't need to include 4 with it. Yeah. That's just my thoughts. Yeah. I mean, if it's going straight to Xbox One, yeah. By all means, let them go ahead. That way all four of them are over on the Xbox One. Yeah. It seems like they could go either way with this, and uh, I don't know how I'd feel. I'd be, I think I'd be fine either way. I think either way would work. Uh, Especially since we're not getting Halo 5 till next year. Yeah. This would be the, the Halo game of the year. Which would mean that they lived up to what they said for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you got anything to say about this? No, not really. All right, then. No, Moving giving on. Giving me warning. From... So, wow. Thank you, Glock. What? Not giving me warning before we move on. But anyhow, moving on. Yeah. What? What did I do? What did I do wrong? I'm sorry. You're supposed to help us prolong it. That way I can kind of swap over. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway, moving yeah. on. Yes. As the title says, the stage is set. Because, again, in less than two weeks, we're going to be at him. We're going to be covering E3. I love the last paragraph. I know I'm not, I know I'm skipping everything else, but I love the last paragraph. They say it's a speculation. <laughs> so, don't be surprised if a lot of our articles tonight are talking about E3 and what's to come. As such as this one, where EA is saying they're bringing six brand new games to E3. Uh, let's see, with E3... I'll list each... them off if you want me to. I will list it. Uh, Quit jumping ahead and shut up and let him read it. I can't wait for the first one you're gonna name. <laughs> uh, calm down, Galak. Anyway! Uh, Jeff Keighley tweeted today via Polygon that EA's press conference on July 9th, which will also air on Spike TV, will include six new game reveals. In a statement, EA noted that the event will include more information on already revealed games, including the new Mirror's Edge that was hinted at last year in Dragon Age Inquisition, as well as Star Wars Battlefront. EA also Everyone stated that else these... Everyone over Star Wars Battlefront. <clears throat> He also stated that these will be new projects and in intellectual properties currently in development. These this could be last anyone's paragraph is hilarious. Clock, please. But I, Enough! I Let him read it! Quick cutting him off! I'm sorry. These could be anyone guesses but the new Mass Effect project from Bioware in Visceral Star Wars game with Uncharted director Amy Henning on board are likely to be involved somehow. Uh, for the rundown, once it's official, from Shake from Shack News. So yeah, six new games come to E3 from EA. But wait, I thought it was the game that shall not be named here. No, specifically the game not. that shall not be named is the third one in that series. Oh, okay. <laughs> that series can be mentioned. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, it will be nice to see Mirror, the new Mirror's Edge since we haven't heard anything since last year's E3 alongside Battlefront. <laughs> what? Uh, what, Glock? What'd you say? I heard something and then I heard Battlefront. We haven't seen anything from the new Mirror's Edge or Battlefront since last year's E3. Yes, I know. But Mirror's Edge is going to be so amazing. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. He's having a nerd Yeah. Uh -huh. I loved the first Mirror's Edge. I don't know why, but I fell in love with that game from the second I played it. It was so amazing, and it brought parkour to life in in my eyes. It was just, like, so awesome. Uh, Mass and... Effect 4 will... Sorry. Oh. And you That's mean a... Minecraft didn't bring it to life for you? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Had to say it. Yeah. No. Mirror's Edge. Oh, that game is going to be so amazing. Yeah, I will say if uh, if we're going to get Mass Effect 4 news at E3, at a EA's press conference, it will be a centerpiece. I guarantee it. 
and it's most likely going to give a full rundown on at least one of the two new aliens that, that I mentioned before. Your little news corner post? Yes. Yeah, it, it's going to at least give a rundown on one of the two. It's going to give a rundown on one of the two. I'm almost positive. I've heard nothing about Visceral Star Wars games, but, finger crossed, but fingers are crossed, and hopefully they picked up Star Wars 1313. 1313? 13. 13. Yeah. I've that, never heard of that. You know, the thing that was at, like, I want to say, like, last year or year before Z3? That Disney went and uh, canceled. And oh, they canceled all of Lucas that. Arts. You rem yeah, that one. Considering Unchar someone from Uncharted is on the project, and that kind of looked like an Uncharted type and kind of game. Fingers crossed. Maybe it's thirteen thirteen. Maybe that game gets a second chance through Visceral. Maybe. But uh, yeah. And just as a, um. a quick spoiler to a, a future article, uh. One of those game, one of those brand new games has been leaked already. <laughs> don't see, don't be surprised when shit like this happens for the next two weeks. What? Uh, one of those brand new games EA is bringing to the table uh, has already been leaked. What? Ma uh, Mass Effect Four? No. Which no, they're not gonna leak their big thing. What? Not they can help it. Which one? <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition? No. What the fuck would Dragon Age Inquisition be a damn leak? I don't know. How about what? you look? How about you look in the article tile so I don't have to tell you, and spoil it. I'm trying. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the. Wait, are you talking about the next one? No. Hell the no. IGN ones. One of the two IGN ones. <laughs> uh. Wait for the re Oh. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, then. Any other thoughts on this before we move on? Oh, I'm stupid. No? Alright, then. Next up, we get a confirmation on the locations <coughs> for the Smash Brothers Best Buy uh, events. Alongside the, as we covered before, alongside the Invitational Tournament, you're going to get a chance to play Smash Brothers on the Wii U at select best buys now you're gonna have two chances to play this your first chance will be on wednesday june 11th from 4 to 9 p.m and then again on saturday june 14th from noon to 5 p.m then this website has your store locators there just pick from state and then city which for us in tennessee we got johnson city knoxville and memphis to pick from. Closest one is Knoxville for us. Mm. Care, care to share yours from Georgia Glock? Uh, where is it? Uh, it? Didn't you say it was Atlanta? Uh, no, there's no Atlanta. Surprisingly. Really? Oh, really? No! Yeah, there's no Atlanta one. Really? Why? You would think I... that they... You'd I think they would. Yeah. I mean, it would it would be the smartest for them because Atlanta is, you know, one of the I, I most know, popular cities in the U.S. Although they do list kind of an ambiguous location, which is. I was gonna let you read them off since you're from I, Georgia. I, I, where where did you click to find it? Uh, oh. Official site and the art uh, yeah, at that link and you go there I'm and going, you pick I'm your going, state I'm and going, you hang pick it. <laughs> Like the state, Georgia. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Augusta. Buckhead. And then the Mall of Georgia. Why? What? No idea. Which I had to look up where the hell the Mall of Georgia was because I've never heard of that. <laughs> why? Why Augusta? Out of all places, Augusta. Oh, there's not New York. Okay. Strange. 
Uh, on top of that, if you're one of the first 70 attendees at each event to pre-order Super Smash Bros. for 3DS or Wii U, and receive, you'll receive a rare collectible Super Smash Bros. gold coin, one per customer while supplies last. You will get also get a $5 My Best Buy certificate when you pick up, pick up your uh, fully paid game upon release. So you get 5 bucks towards your next purchase, essentially. Great! That's exactly what I want, because I always go to Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're trying. Well, the gold like coin, I assume, is going to be the, the logo. Maybe like Smash Fest at Best, Best Buy on the other side. Probably That'd be nice. Not. Yes, we have confirmations for the locations. Uh, I doubt any of, any of us are going to be able to make it to one. Nope. Not even going to uh -uh. try. But yeah, it's... Uh... Once Dear again, God, really? What? Next article. Okay. Quit doing that. Right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's Let nice to see that. Uh, all out of the way. But yeah, oh, it's okay. nice to. Why don't you cut <clears throat> him off again? You're really pissing him off. Anyway, nice to see that once again to know it's bringing E3 off of the West Coast and towards some of us who are not going to be able to make it to E3. Or mm. could even if we wanted to. Yeah, any other thoughts on uh, the best locations near us? Y'all have some really, really, really weird freaking choices. Just saying. Augusta. Oxo? Augusta. Mm. Knoxville, Memphis, and Knoxville, Memphis sounds fine. Johnson City sounds like the odd one, but eh. Mm. Yes. And Knoxville no. and Memphis, I can understand, but Augusta. Augusta. Yeah, and the only reason I say Johnson City is when it's next to Memphis and Knoxville. Yeah. And then, and then, <laughs> out of out of all the places, Buckhead. Well, Atlanta Why? was too obvious. Why? B because we, we want to be different. There's a difference in between being different and not wanting money. <laughs> no one's getting paid. The most they're gonna get is a is a boost in pre-orders. Mm. A two-day boost in pre-orders for a game that's been on pre-orders since it was announced. Mm -hmm. I want to say like four months ago. Fair enough. I don't know when the pre-orders went up for the game, but it's been pre-ordered for a while now. <laughs> All right, then. I guess we'll move on to our next one. We get the report on the cancellation of something we talked about earlier. Star wow. Wars Attack Squadrons is canceled by Disney Interactive. Uh, a new free-to-play online space combat game at the end of the it first uh, Attack Squadrons was going to be a free-to-play online space combat game uh, to come out at the end of 2013. And mere six months later, the publisher has announced that they're pulling the plug on the Area 52 Helm project followed a lengthy closed beta period. <coughs> so, w wait, we got a closed beta, and then it's like, nope, clo nope cancel it. It's not going to be worthwhile. Wow. <laughs> But, but so, wouldn't you cancel it before the close beta? Just, just saying. Disney. So, Disney. So, yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> well, it could be worse. How could it be worse? They could reboot the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop. That could. <laughs> Stop. Just stop. Don't give them any ideas. Well, it's too late now. They've already Please thrown out all of the... Don't give them any ideas. Well, well Glock, I, just, I hate to break, break the news to you, but they've already thrown out everything of the expanded universe of Star Wars out of canon. All of it. All the books. All the... the uh, all the books. All, all that material is gone from canon. 
But you know what still is in canon? What? The Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> yes, that piece of shit is still in canon. Because that's a terrible special. Oh, and so is the Ewoks TV series. Lovely. Why? Because Lucas was a part of those projects. <laughs> Great. Uh, simply put, people are really upset about this. But, after watching Nash's video from that guy with glasses on the topic, I understand why they did it. For the most part. <laughs> I still have to wonder why they don't realize they have a piece of shit on their hands and not go, Fuck that, we want to forget it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, wow, they even shut down the gaming website and the YouTube! Let's see, plan to support three uh, PvP modes up to 16 players with deathmatch team battles and base defense among them. In 52, Harry 52 had plans to support this game with microtransactions and roll out regular updates that include chips, items, and upgrades. So, yeah. Bye-bye, Star Wars Attack Squadrons. You joined 1313 in Oblivion. For now, hopefully. Yeah, any thoughts on the Pack Squadrons biting the dust? Mm, no, not really. Any, any thoughts from you, Glock? Um. Just stop. Alrighty then. Let's move on to what EA done goofed and leaked. <laughs> Battlefield Hardline confirmed for fall 2014. Are we watching the top video or the bottom video? We're, we're not watching a video because there's no video to watch because they already took down the damn damn. Not only I think it, I think where is it mentioned in the article? Where is it? Da -da 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 -da. Darn, it's not mentioned. Ow. They had a five minute developer walkthrough leak. I actually think it was more than that, but they had a developer walkthrough they took leak for this game. To me. Which is why we know it exists. Now, I'm coming for them. Hold on a second. What happened? Developer Got an ad somewhere. Probably IGN again being a, being a jerk. What the hell? I am paused that one. <laughs> I could see the other one doing it. Autoplay means autoplay. No matter what. <laughs> you must watch. You must give us views. Really? How many more times can I get the Watch Dogs ad? The PS4 one, might I add. Enough ads from here to August. Because, uh, yeah, uh, you're going to keep getting it till then. Anyway. I mean, I mean, damn, I know they want me to buy the game, but shit. <laughs> All right. The Cops and Rider Shooter is scheduled for release in fall 2014, according to an article on EA's blog, Cashed Here. Executive producer at developer uh, Visceral Games, uh, Stephen Prezitz, wrote, wrote, The game launches this fall, and it's a brand new series in the Battlefield franchise set against the backdrop of a genre we all love, the war on crime and the battle between cops and criminals. Uh, excited to be going into more details soon on the ways we're adding new twists and turns to the foundation of Battlefield multiplayer and more about how bringing our strengths at Visceral to single player. More will be revealed during EA's E3 press conference on June 9th at 12 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna hop over to this cache website for a second. Mm, nothing else there. So, yeah. We're not getting a military shooter. Yay! That that makes me slightly happy. Yeah. That is going to be a change. The whole idea of cops and robbers at least sounds interesting. They could do something with it. And possibly keep going with something along that lines. Yeah, especially since they're saying it's a brand new series in the Battlefield franchise. Maybe we get sequel. 
But yeah. Battlefield Hardline. Coming soon. Now, we would be watching the walkthrough, except for two reasons. One, it's already been taken down, and two, we would be taken down in the process. How much you want to bet that it's been taken down? I bet you I could find it. Uh, not that much, because I'm sure it's still floating out there somewhere. <laughs> Granted, I didn't look that hard for it to begin with, because as soon as I saw it was taken down, I'm like, well, we're not watching that, even if we did find it. They would kind of want to take us down, too, because we played the video on our, uh, on our video. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Hell, they might try to bitch right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how dare you spoil the thing that... We spoiled. Yes. E even though this is on every single major gaming website. I think they... A week on before we... major gaming website than us. <laughs> Let's see. Three days earlier than when we were talking about it. Because this came out Tuesday. Literally, this yeah, this came out the twenty seventh. <laughs> People already know about this. Don't worry about it. At least you didn't have Mass Effect Four be spoiled. Oh, oh wait, we already know that's in development. Oops. Well, you have. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Ubisoft's yourself better at these surprise games than that than the EA is. Yeah. Alright, All right. shall we move on then? Except for yeah, the fact so. that Ubisoft has a hard time handling server maintenance after they come out with a good game. <laughs> At least it's a good game. That you can only play single player on PC. Well, at least, at least the multiplayer is not forced. Yay. Yeah. We're looking at you. No one will forget the Sims disaster. No hey. one. Hey, hey. Also, you ain't got to worry about a special code to be able to use the multiplayer either. <laughs> uh, We're pointing right. fingers at EA. We might as well point them all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next up, let's talk Gears of War. And by talk Gears of War, I mean talk a quote that I don't quite understand. Uh, uh, as a quick uh, refresher, Microsoft has bought the rights for Gears of War from Epic, so Microsoft does own Gears of Wars. Mm, so that's God. the second back, exclusive called. franchise that they have, I guess. Yeah. Uh, oh, and you know it's sad when they have to have bought both of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because they had to buy Halo off Bungie, and now they bought him. They had to buy Gears of War off <laughs> off Epic. That's kind of sad. Yeah. Especially saying as how really both games concluded what the original companies wanted out of it. Yeah. So that means now Microsoft is just going to be beating a dead horse. All right. Ron Ferguson, former director of production of Epic, was appointed to help uh, Black Tusk bring the franchise to Xbox One and said that developing the sequel is all about balance. It's the same thing with all sequels. He told OXM, This isn't a great way of phrasing it, but I always talk about shopping and shipping a sequel to customers as managing betrayal. They want something new, but they don't want something so new that it doesn't feel like what they want. But if you put on put out something that's very familiar and it's the same as the game that they just had, then it's like I've already had this. This isn't new enough. Microsoft head Phil Spencer says the says the company had no plans to rush the next Gears of War installment onto the Xbox One, and it wants to allow Blast Tugs to enough time to involve to evolve the series gameplay. That is, the next Gears of War needs to reignite the franchise and grow it, and it won't be a quick turn. So, not Gears of War Judgment. Pretty much. How was that game, anyway? I don't know. I assumed it was a quick cash-in on the Gears of War French, as... I think that's really what it was. Yeah. It came, it had its big moment, it died. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, to do... 
They uh, continue to quote, you actually have to portray them enough to give them something new and surprising, but not so much that they disconnect. And I think that is a big thing that we have to focus on, he said. It's how we can innovate and bring something new to the franchise, while at the same time really proving that we understand Gears. That this is the franchise that you know and love. I'm, it's a, I'm a bit perplexed by this, by with someone outright going, we have to portray fans to innovate. And I go, not, I just, have, I just have to wonder, it's like, not the right way of thinking of that way. Not not the right way of wording it, but he's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, you good example here. Take what happened with H Halo 2. Yeah. You want to know why that's the weakest one? They tried to implement too many changes. Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. Everyone hates it because of all the changes that got implemented into it. But look at Halo 3. It took where they blundered at Halo 2, adapt, mixed it with CE, and actually got something good out of it. Yeah. So I, I kind of see his point there. You change it too much, they're going to turn right away and be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't change it enough, they're not going to want to play it. We're a fickle bunch of people, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> I mean, how much is too much and how little is too little? Eh. I think the scale is Call of Duty to... What, what's the... To what, Halo Wars? <laughs> <laughs> If it's Call of Duty, it's too similar. If it's Halo Wars, it's too different. <laughs> yeah, I think you're on the dot with that. <laughs> uh, which, you know, that's something that completely breaks his statement there. Call of Duty hasn't changed. Not really. It's not. Not really. The single player story is the only thing that changed. Everything else, I'd venture to say you could take any map that has been made in any of the newer Call of Duties and paste them in any of the older ones and it'd still be just as fine. Yeah. And we know they're running off the same engine. I mean... <laughs> they're all running off the same engine! If anyone complains about complains to somebody who's complaining about the fact that all the Call of Duty's look the same, it's not helped by the fact they all run on the same damn engine. <laughs> and I, I think that is the only state the only thing that can be said that breaks that comment right there. Yeah. Otherwise he's exactly right. You've got to change enough to make it feel like a new game. But you have to keep enough the same to where it still feels like it's part of that franchise. Yeah. I just like don't like, like the you whole... said there, Halo Wars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They broke off, went to a real time strategy, and guess what? That did not go over well. They done goofed. <laughs> Was it a bad game? Apparently no. not. Because the people that have actually gave it a shot said that it was a good game. So, I mean, you're not the only one I've heard say that. I thought it was a good game, sort of. I don't like strategy, so I can't really say yeah or nay on that one. <laughs> yeah. But, um, still, though, I mean, it obviously was a good game for what it was. It just didn't go over with the people that new the Halo franchise. Yeah. So I I see his point completely there. Yeah. I Do just I just wouldn't call in innovating your franchise betrayal. I'm like you're not betraying them by trying to do something different. I mean not too different, but you're not betraying them by trying to make a better game. By trying to make a better Gears of War game. By refining and improving what you've done. By trying to implement some new ideas and see how things go. That's, that's not betrayal. 
that's your job but, as a creator. Uh, <laughs> but let me. I'm going to use this reference because it's a little closer. But which game do you like better, Halo 3 or Halo Reach? I don't know. Just kind of overall. That one's kind of hard. I would lean towards Reach and story and kind of overall design aesthetic. I don't know. I'm in more just like the gameplay physics of it. Kind of feels like a toss up. Kind of. I, so, I so see, right there, you've got too close. Yeah. Let's break off a little farther. Reach and see. Which one do you feel is the better game? That's kind of hard to say because I don't have that, that much experience with CE as I do Reach. So, <laughs> But what you have had. I feel like Reach has a better balance a little bit. Because I think CE has... Uh, uh, the Magnum is a really, like, way too powerful. <laughs> like, it's stupidly powerful. But everyone loves the Magnum. That's fine, yeah. but you don't need a magnum that will that will damn near two shot everything. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I don't. Uh, but you see where I'm saying right there. Yeah. Now, let's look at it a different way. Say so Bungie came out with Reach after they did CE. Like literally, it was in succession. Mm-hmm. Reach more than likely would not have went over as well because they basically changed everything. Yeah. Nothing from CE is really there by the time Reach comes around. Yeah. Everything I, I, has gotten a rework. The weapons, the layout, everything. Yeah. You go between 3 and Reach, there's not that huge of a gap. And I think that's what he's more meaning. People want change, but they don't want too much change. Yeah, they want the core of the franchise to still be there, but for innovation to help make that core better. But all these devs ever hear is, we want you to change this, we want you to change this. They don't ever hear... We like the game because of this. Yeah. And that's where the problem comes in. They're trying to figure out, well, how can we change this without pissing them off? But they don't know why people like the game either. Yeah. And that's kind of that betrayal there, because you take that chance of, okay, if I change one element that I think makes it better... That might piss the whole community off. Yeah. And I think that's kind of where he's getting with it. Kind of one of those roll the dice things. Yeah, pretty much. Roll the dice, see where it lands, and hope you survive. Yeah. That was I. I don't mind having it too similar of a game, but I want to feel like they're. There is improvements there when I think there are faults. That's how I felt about uh, Battle Rod War, just to talk about something I've personally played. I feel there are faults with the game. Motorcycle controls are this weird, loose, tight situation that I'm not quite sure how to describe. But it could be improved. The overall HUD could be improved. Adding more characters would always be a great choice. You know, just whoever you can possibly get would always be a good choice. A lot more variety of maps. But it just can't... It essentially, all my complaints about Battle Red War essentially come down to some fixes here and there. And just overall more content. Which is what... Which is what Battle Red War 2 looks to be doing. More content. A few more characters. More maps. More forms. More everything. And... Uh, 
improved HUD and maybe some better motorcycle controls. I'm not sure. That's going to be hard to tell visually. So yeah. Uh, any other thoughts on the statement before we move on? Mm, no. Alright, then let's move on then to our first look at the Order 1886. The game was streamed live here on Twitch, uh, I think this past week or so. Uh, 23rd. Yeah, it was last week. And we've got some archive footage of it. Not much, but I'm sure there's a playlist with more of it. Well, but at least there's a get... playlist of 100. How far we want to go? <laughs> I'm not sure what else in the playlist. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah. There's not. Yeah, there, there's not more. Uh, or 1886 in the playlist. Really? Yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a whole bunch of other stuff, but it's not more 1886. This is some of the footage that was captured. Yeah, opening. this will be our... There. Is that... I know Clock walked away. Yeah. At least wait for him to get back, maybe. Uh, apparently, the official PlayStation Twitter tweeted when this was going out. Yeah. I know Twitch retweeted it. That's why I saw it. I didn't hop in the stream because I was doing other stuff. <laughs> oh, and just announced uh, beforehand, just to talk about it a little bit, uh, PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation 4 exclusive Project Beast footage emerged, which I've only looked at a, the uh, the GIFs for it. Uh, it looks like Dark Souls, <laughs> which is not surprising because it's from the same people who make Dark Souls. Wow. Like, this looks like a uh, Next-gen Dark Souls, essentially. Which seems odd, because Dark Souls 2 was not was released not that long ago. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, there's the White Wall, there's... This, it looks like Dark Souls, gameplay-wise. And I'm just like, are they releasing a next-gen Dark Souls this early? That, that seems like a quick turnaround. Cause... Okay, what did I miss? Uh, delaying until you got back. Okay. Because, uh, just recently, Project Beast was, had a footage shown of it. And it looks like Dark Souls. <laughs> I have to wonder if this is the next-gen Dark Souls. That would be a really quick turnaround from Dark Souls 2, because that was released, like, this year. Yeah. yeah, Dark Souls was released this year. That would be really quick. But it looks like Dark Souls! It's like, all the gameplay looks like Dark Souls. It has some of the... It's got some of the motifs of Dark Souls. And I'm just like... Now, to be fair, it shares this with Demon Souls, so this could be Demon Souls 2. And not Dark Souls. Even though, theoretically, they're both the same game. <laughs> huh. Well, scratch that. They are really the same game. Dark Souls is the spiritual successor to Demon Souls. Why they're two different franchises, why they would then go on to make it two different franchises, hell if I know. Because as far as I know, they don't have the rights to Demon Souls. But since this is a PlayStation exclusive, I guess this could be Demon Souls too. I don't know. I just know it looks like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a look at the uh, the first gameplay of Order 1886. You know that thing that we, we thought was a co-op game from last year's E3 that wasn't a co-op game? Whoa. Uh, I heard that. That wasn't me. <laughs> Tommy? Uh, Tommy? Tommy. I yanked uh, my, my cable out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. But, uh, yeah, uh, Glock, you know Order 1886 is not a co-op game, right? Yeah, I know. It's kind of shocking. Yeah. Shocked me too when I read Game Informer and found out, wait, it's not a co-op game? What the 
fuck? Why did you why did you hit at in the trailer that it's fucking four player co op then? That's not... what I thought. When I saw it at E3, I thought it was gonna be co op. I really did. Alright, wait, wait, I'll kid up and ready on the eighteen eighty six footage. Yep. Wait. Yep. Alright, take a look at it. 1886 in 3, 2, 1, Yahoo! Okay. Anyone getting reminded about that Kill Zone demo from like a few E3, E3 back? Kinda. That's because I seriously am. Now, whether this is this is the PS4 at, at its being pushed, or, or the PS4 actually having a really good game developed for it, I don't know, but... This is legit gameplay, because this looks awesome. This was streamed on Twitch last week, so apparently it is. This is really legit, like, this looks really good. Yes, it does. Although I am, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit skeptical because I'm like, is this really gameplay footage? We tried to dupe us all with that Killzone trailer from way back when, but mm, yeah. I'm okay, just got shot in the neck. I like raised it. That went well. Drink the alcohol, makes the pain go away. L literally? What? I was making a joke, game. What the hell? <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> Thank you. Another bullet through the stomach. Apparently that's not alcohol. <laughs> oh wait, there is. Going. Oh yeah, I did. Did all play. So there is one. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna watch position. more. Or we're gonna stop. About time. We can look at it a little bit more. I think this is the what same. Was that? What was that? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just get yeah. the, you just get the cutscene from earlier. So yeah. Understood. Rebels, on the first floor. So we can, so can pause there. Yeah. So yeah. It's longer though. This one is longer. You get the cutscene before we're, before where we picked up on the earlier video. Oh, and okay. probably one a little after. Yeah. Because the video we were watching was almost two minutes. This is three. Oh, okay. That's why you have the link for the non-choppy HD version. Really now? What? Yeah. Not not that. I really now. I have to put this as a second quick draw if that's all right with you. No. What? I I I have to. No. What? What is it, Glock? Valve might believe in three. Oh wait, wait, wait. oh, are we talking about the Left 4 Dead three stuff or? What? Yes. We are. Uh, are we? Is it? Is it just? Is it actually Left 4 Dead three, or are we just talking about survivors? No, this is legit Left 4 Dead three. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you're talking about the 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 rumors from the one guy from Valve saying that Left 4 Dead three is in development and looks great. You do realize Half Life three has been in development for a while now, right? Really? Yes. Uh, y yeah. Half Life three is in what's called development hell. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Glock, just because someone says a, says a game of three, a game bearing three from Valve is in development, means nothing. Okay. I mean, hell, I would not Never be surprised if we didn't hear something about a Portal 3 being in development. Or Team Fortress 3, don't forget that. Although, yeah. I think they're making far too much money off Team Fortress 2, so they'd be like, yeah, we don't want to do a 3. Yeah, they're, they're making way too much off of 2. Yeah. They're still making money off of Team Fortress 2. It has microtransactions now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, it's free to play, but it has microtransactions. And like, 
It is one of the biggest competitive games, PC side. Which is surprising because art style wise, you wouldn't think it'd be competitive. <laughs> yeah. But really? I didn't expect that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They got all the microtransactions now. So, yeah. I want to be excited for Order 1886 and gameplay, but. I are kind of. I'm kind of skeptical because, for all we know, this is all pre rendered. Because I don't see a controller. True. And a part of me is like, this is far too smooth. Granted, we don't know the full capacity of the consoles we got, and this is on the PlayStation 4. So for all we know, the PlayStation 4 is pulling out something like this. Which Killzone looks good, so... Ooh. Any other thoughts on that? I believe that it's real when I see someone playing it on YouTube and it's legit being played. Alrighty then. I think we'll move straight into the big topic. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting lag on Chrome. Ha! <laughs> it's not what you think it is, though, actually. Because I have one YouTube vid up that's like... It's really long, but I don't want to get rid of it because I kind of want to finish watching it. All right. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, hey, ready. Boy. It's time for the big topic. As I'll say once again, for less than two weeks from E3, June 9th through June 12th, E3 2014. Now to touch Where? on E3 of last year. Wait, wait, what? Where is our clapper? Where is our clap button and everything? Clap button? We used to have a clap button when we used uh, uh, Google Plus. Part of Google Hangouts. Why, it was, why, why can't we use Google Hangouts again then? Because I missed that. We need that back. We've never used Hangouts for TGS. Plus, I think they got rid of the buttons. Yes. Anyway, to recap kind of the big things from last year, Microsoft tried to salvage the Xbox One launch by completely ignoring everything that people were worried about. Sony laid the verbal smack it down on Microsoft and gave, gave themselves a huge push in terms of pre-order numbers. Nintendo quietly sat by, announced their games, and called it a day. <laughs> EA and Ubisoft EA and Ubisoft showed off their new titles for the coming year. And we got a whole bunch of whole bunch of talk of the new consoles, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. We are now a year later. The field is a bit different. Microsoft and Sony are now competing on equal ground as they try to best each other in their Tactics to try to get people to buy their console. What do you and think then, they're going to do? Uh, we're going to be talking about that in our predictions going into E3. Okay. Doing all the, all the setup right now. Nintendo has a two-year-old console on their hands, essentially. They're looking to impress this year as some of their biggest titles are coming this year. AA looks to impress with its six brand new titles, along with its Cavalcade of franchises to show off, and Ubisoft may just have another ace up their sleeve to shock, uh, the shock people Monday night and leave people talking about Ubisoft more than anyone else. Kind of like they did last year. Pretty much. Because <laughs> besides Actually, the they... consoles, they kind of took the show. I mean... Well, it's more like how they've done the last two years, because they did it, did it with Watch Dogs, and they did it with Division. Now the question is, are they going to do it again? So let's get predicting! First up, Microsoft, Monday, June 9th at 9.30 a.m. We'll be going live in L.A. I'll be perfectly honest, I'm thinking Halo's going to book in the show. I think we're going to have uh, 
the Master Chief Collection at the beginning and then the Halo 5 at the end. Don't forget about the Halo TV show and everything else. I was going to say reverse that and that's what I'm thinking because... Because you know they're going to try to book as much Halo as possible into that because Halo is Microsoft's big ticket. Uh, I know that, Glock, but... I'm thinking they're going to open up with Halo 5. Because they want to impress this year. And they're going to open up with one of the big guns. They're going to leave the Master Chief Collection as kind of the, the end-off, here's our surprise game, even though it's already been leaked. But I think they'll open with Halo 5. That, or they're going to open with the new Call of Duty, like they've always done. They'll probably do that, actually. Yeah. Open with the Call of Duty, transition into... Probably, like you said, Halo 5. You might be right on that. Yeah. I don't I don't know, because remember, I don't think it was last year, but the year before last, the way they opened up with Halo, and it just kind of faded in. They didn't even talk. Well, what are they going to say about Halo 5? Because it's not coming out until next year. And they'll probably be... They're not be... really going to say anything. It's, just gonna, it's probably not going to be actual gameplay. It's probably going to be another teaser. Which is exactly why they're not going to end with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're going to end with something actionable for this year, which is going to be the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Yeah, you're right on that. They'll yeah. probably open with the Call of Duty, I bet. Yeah. Because Microsoft loves them some Call of Duty. <laughs> They're always paying to get that get that first release. Uh, DLC, pretty much. Well, and it never fails, really. Call of Duty is stronger on Xbox consoles than it is on PS. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is very it true. It always has been. That community's been stronger with Microsoft than it has with Sony. Yeah. Now, I'm going to make a bold statement here. I think for the first time in years, the Kinect... Is going to be minimized. Yeah, I really do. I think actually they're going to focus more on the recent price drop. Yeah. Than they will they on are. the Connect. Yeah. Yeah, the Connectless Xbox One. Yeah, because if Microsoft's willing to push to put out an Xbox One a year after its initial release, that is without the Connect, which is what they should have done to begin with. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Sony undercut them, undercut them hard on that one. I mean, if they're not not confident enough now to have a Connect bundle with the console, I doubt they're going to give it much screen time. We may get a mention of Connect here and there. It'll be a nice little filler to be like, "Here's a Connect game for the kids." Yeah, you'll probably no, have a little. You'll probably have a little 15-20 minute segment where they kind of run through the new Connect stuff, and then that's probably going to be the short and long of it. Yeah, you I... Know, you know what they're going to do? Throw the Connect out the window? No. I Damn hope they'd do that. They're going to try to redeem that horrible Star Wars fail with the Connect. Oh, no. No, they're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not going to try to bring back Connect Star Wars 2. <laughs> Uh, they do. I, I swear, Disney, you're the master trolls here. <laughs> now, I will say something I think might wind up being in the Connect part of it. They might try to hype up. I know this is more focused on the consoles, but they changed this for the consoles anyhow, but the new Skype update. That's possible. I have a funny feeling we'll wind up with some kind of mention about it, even. They might not yeah. spend a lot of time on it, but it'll be mentioned. Yeah. Because, uh... Normally, they do a lot of, uh... They normally have a block of time they dedicate to a lot of the more entertainment, you know, besides gaming parts of the Xbox One. I think, Locke, that's where you're saying the Halo TV will show will come into play. Yep. A long time of the Skype update and probably some other new apps that they've got coming into it. They'll probably show off footage from the E.T. special that they did because we know they filmed already. Yeah. 
And since that broke gaming news, they were going to bring it back up again. <laughs> yeah, because Microsoft lo loves to beat a dead horse. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, it's confirmed Sunset Overdrive will be at the conference, and I think they're also getting a, a demo on stage as well. Because I saw a tweet, uh, I think from Insomniac, saying that that's going to be the case. I bet they'll probably put the Sunset Overdrive stuff either before or af right after the Connect stuff. Probably right after the to get the get people back in after like everyone checks out for the Connect. Yeah, because I I could see that being right around that point to either finish the attention grabbing beginning or kind of lead into what's going to be the end of it. Yeah. Uh, there's always room for surprises, of course. We're not going to try to speculate on what surprises are going to be, because anything we'll say is going to be right or wrong, it's a 50-50 shot, essentially. Yeah. That's or the less. stuff we know, that based off of what they've done since the Kinect's been released, is going to be set in it. Yeah. <laughs> They are kind of a little predictable. Yeah. I think we're going to get a lot... I think we'll get some more multi-platform stuff like normal, kind of like Call of Duty. I don't know if Battlefield will get it, make its debut on at Microsoft because EA is right after them. Yeah. EA I, may, might hold that car back and play it at their conference. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think Battlefield probably is going to come in at the EA one. Yeah. Which, speaking of EA, 11, uh, no, not 11.30, that's uh, IGN's pre-show. Monday, June, at noon, EA will be having the press conference, too. Ooh, yay. You're bringing, the, you're bringing the games to the table. And... This one's gonna be a tough one to kind of call. Yeah. I have to think that they want to try to bounce back because they've had kind of a bad year PR-wise. Because they've been getting the verbal uh, smackdown laid upon them by a lot of people. Is, like, is, I got a question. What? Is Nintendo even trying? Not really, no. Nintendo doesn't compete in the console war. Why? Because Nintendo they don't care. Just kind of like in the background, going, "We don't care. Y'all fight to the death. We'll jump in the we'll we'll jump in the spotlight later." <laughs> Nintendo would have to have thirteen bad years in a row to go and even get close to bankruptcy. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we are making our games. We are making our console. We're doing what we want. Fuck off with the rest of ever. <laughs> Fuck off with the rest of ye. That's they have their. They have their established audience. They have what they want. And the Wii U, even if it's bad, it won't kill Nintendo at all. It will Honestly, come north. they survived the Wii. I give them props. The they Wii U, the to, to me, feels like a better console. Yeah. It really does. Honestly, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to wind up with an Xbox One as the next console. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. But me. after that I would probably be looking at a Wii U. Because it really does feel like they've went back to focus on what they should have been with the Wii. <laughs> yeah. I think EA is going to come to come to E3 looking to impress. And they're going to bring out all their guns. I don't think they're going to have a slow moment. They're I, going to give spotlight to the, to the sports titles, but I don't think they're going to really have a slow moment. I think the sports stuff, when they hit, that's going to be their only slow moment. Yeah. And more than likely, that'll probably they'll probably play it like Microsoft will the Kinect stuff. Probably throw yeah. it in the middle, have something slowing down into it, and then something to boost them back out. Yeah. Yeah, I, EA's gonna bring. I think EA's gonna bring out all their big franchises to the dance, to some capacity, whether it's playable or not. Everyone's getting the spot. I, I'm wondering though, 
if they're going to start or end with the Battlefield stuff. I, I'm thinking they'd be better to end with it. But that might be a good kickoff showing that, hey, they're not going to let a slow moment go on this press conference either. Yeah, I think especially with this leak, they might reshuffle Battlefield to more towards the front and maybe even start off with it because I would think Battlefield probably originally was going to be one of their big, like, end of show titles. Be the big surprise the, at the end. Uh, at least one of the possible ones. But now because of this league, they're going to shuffle it towards the front because they're going to be like, yep, go, you go towards the front, you start off the show because everyone knows about you now. Yeah, if we had just gotten a name and not any information, then yeah, I think it still would have wound up at the back. But now that we've got too much information about it, I, it might be at the front. Yeah, especially, especially when I think Come like, on, guys. at the very least, the video that they might be showing off at E3 got leaked. <laughs> it will be shuffled to the front because that might be what they're showing off. Might be. Because I have not seen it, so I don't know what it looks like, so I wouldn't be able to tell. But I'm sure other people who have seen it will be able to tell. And we'll hear about it as soon as it comes out, too. Yeah. I want to I wanna be hopeful and Battlefield will be playable, will be seen in a playable fashion. I don't know. Because we're still a good bit off before all the major titles release. I know. That that the, that teaser got me excited for a new Battlefield, and I'm hoping Dice brings something to the table. The show for Battlefield. Granted, I'm, my expectations are going to be a little bit higher because I know a lot about Battlefield Three, the the canceled Battlefield, and how impressive that kind of was, <sighs> at least conceptually. And I, I'm kind of going to be judging this game as you are the successor to that. Make yourself worthwhile. Because <laughs> instead of Battlefield 3, we are getting this kind of reboot of the franchise. And especially since uh, I think Star Wars 7 is going to come out, what, next year? Or two years? Uh, Next year. Because okay. wasn't it 15? I believe so. Back real quick. I know they're filming right now. I'm thinking it was 15. Yeah. Yep, December 18th next year. So, yeah, they're probably going to want to push this out hard. I think Disney is wanting Star Wars titles to build up to uh, Episode 7 coming out next year. And Battlefield might be front and center of that. Because that's kind of the big Star Wars title that people will recognize that are Star Wars fans. Because that's a franchise that still exists. <laughs> or at least a, a, a franchise for Star Wars that video game wise that still exists. Outside of KOTOR, which carries on in the Old Republic MMO. And that's about it. Because Force at least is, I'm sure, dead. Uh, Jedi Knight, uh, I think the Jedi Knight Academy stuff is probably not going to be touched. Here is the Dark Forces stuff. I doubt they're ever going to do another Super Star Wars-esque game from back on the, on the SNES. Um, I do know something we'll hear a lot of during the uh, conference. We will be hearing a lot about that Frostbite engine. Yeah, it, yeah. I think just about everything EA can run on Frostbite will run on Frostbite. <laughs> And I would venture to say that at least half, if not all, of their six projects that they're showing off will probably be running on it. Yeah. He's got a EA's got a fancy, fancy, in, fancy new engine in Frostbite. They're gonna want to show that off in every capacity they could. Exactly. I think it's confirmed Battlefield's running off off Frostbite too. I think they confirmed that last year. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, they did. They confirmed that Battlefield would be running off the new Frostbite engine, and I'm sure the Battlefield, uh, the new Battlefield, will be running off Frostbite just like every other Battlefield has recently, because they've all run off the Frostbite engine. 
Or at least some version of it. Hell, Mirror's Edge 2 might run off Frostbite Engine. Which, I don't know if Glock would be excited about that or not. I think Dragon Age Inquisition is confirmed to be running off Frostbite 2? Is it? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, the EA's got... He is going to be showing up to impress, I'm sure, and this should be interesting. Oh, yeah. Now, you, now Ubisoft, Monday, June 9th at 3 o'clock. Their press conference in a row, pretty much. Oh, Ubisoft, oh, Ubisoft, will you steal the show once more? Do you have a project up your sleeve that will, sh that will, bring, that will bring people to their knees? Exclaim your name to the sky. I don't know why I got really poetic there. I don't either. Um, <laughs> I almost think as new as Watch Dogs is, we'll probably wind up seeing something out of it. Yeah, they'll give Watch Dogs a little boost to be like, hey, this game's out now. And they usually do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we didn't hear about a piece of DLC. Yeah, because... Uh... Because it would about be getting to that point where it's now or never to announce the good DLCs that's coming out. Well, you well they've already well you can already pick up the season pass for Watch Dogs, and that <coughs> gives you early access to all the Watch Dogs DLC. So to announce a, a DLC for Watch Dogs would be like, okay, we get this if we pick up season one, which would be a nice boost for that. I'm back. Right. I would say we're gonna see Division some capacity even though it's delayed to next year i'm pretty sure we'll see something from division maybe another demo maybe kind of midway point to be like here's something next year <laughs> um we're talking about you soft clock okay what else do i got going for him really uh both assassin's creed projects yeah, that's right. Yeah, whatever. I forgot the name of it. What's the name of the other Assassin's Creed project? Uh. Not, not the the French Revolution one. The other one. I don't know what the other one is. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I, I know that that one Assassin's Creed, the, the the French Revolution one. I forgot the name of it offhand, but that will be at the show. That will probably be one of the big marquee ones. I'm still wondering what the new, what that other Assassin's Creed project is, because all we know is a title, and I forgot what the title was. I did too. Uh, more than likely, they'll probably tie both of those together. Yeah. Because we've got more information on one than the other, so more than likely they're not completely ready to let all the information out on both. Yeah. Whichever one they're planning on releasing first will probably get the big information on, and then the other one they'll probably be like, hey, we're going to have another one coming up later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get something new Rayman-wise. Been a while since we had Legends release. I want to say, maybe something new Rayman-wise. Hmm? Uh, I think it goes without saying that everyone will be showing off next-gen stuff. Yeah. I think that goes without saying. And uh, more likely that? everything that gets talked about will probably be next gen. Yeah. Uh, I'd you venture to probably to show... say we'll probably see a lot of past gen, I guess is the best term for it. Yeah. Because due to the whole no backwards compatibility, I would venture to say we're going to see some of them coming out all the way. Yeah. At least for, like, the next couple of years. Yeah. Uh, Ubisoft will probably show off something kind of random. They kind of always do. It's kind of their MO alongside being having not that great of host. <sighs> Where to God, if Ubisoft has a terrible host again, I swear I'm going to... I'm going to find somebody at Ubisoft, slap them in the back of the head, and be like, find a better host for fuck's sakes. Oh, you didn't like the, you didn't like the terribly tall woman? Not really. <laughs> he gets a cameo appearance in Watch Dogs, though. 
Do what? She gets a cameo appearance in Watch Dogs. Seriously? Yes. Where? Uh, one of the privacy invasion things. You get really? to spy on her talking about how she, I guess, was joking to a friend about stealing silverware, I guess, from a fancy restaurant, and talking about her farts. Talking about her fart. <laughs> yes. I'm not kidding what? on this. Wow. I'm not at all. This exists. <laughs> I seen it for myself after I read about it on the IGN <laughs> wiki. I came across it by accident because I was not looking for that one. I just found a random privacy invasion and did it, and all of a sudden, it's that one. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, she this gets... is why I love Ubisoft. Even though they screw up, they're still finding ways to be funny. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see anything, like, movie-wise, because I know Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed movie has kind of been... Rumb uh, there's rumblings about it. You do realize that there was already an Assassin's Creed short movie. I mean movie movie. Oh. Like, full-length, theatrically released movie. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. They're that. working on it. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if we, if we might get a mention of that, because they they gave time to their uh, their film side with the short film that you're talking about at E3, at their press conference. Wait, they gave they gave time to Lineage? Uh, yeah, they showed the, the, the production of it, but before it got released. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lineage was was a really good movie. I was I was I I was impressed. I can't think of anything else besides the the end of the show Ace in the Hole that Ubisoft might be holding on to. Yeah, because we all know they're going to. Yeah, it's kind of their trend now. Yeah, and I'm ex I'm totally expecting a brand new a brand new project out of nowhere at the end of the show. I think. Oh. Wait, was the crew Ubisoft? Yeah, the crew was Ubisoft. Hopefully, we see more of that. Uh, the cool, uh, kind of car MMO, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Alright. Next up, second of the big three, Monday, June 9th at 6pm, Sony. I'm gonna be stepping into the spotlight and, ooh, Sony, I'm sure has a whole bag of tricks up their sleeve. Oh, they I'm saw sure they, do. they saw what happened when they went up Microsoft last year. I'm sure they're gonna do their damnedest to do it again. Uh, hmm. A part of me really hopes for Kingdom Hearts three news, but we're probably gonna see more Final Fantasy fifteen than Kingdom Hearts three. Mm, give us Kingdom Hearts three. Screw Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy fifteen has to come out first. I don't care. Final because it's the same. It's the same people doing both games essentially. I don't care. Focus on Kingdom Hearts three. Screw Final Fantasy. <laughs> They've had their chance. They had thirteen games. 14, fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. I was about to say fourteen. Uh, fourteen. 18. And that's two of Mumos on top of that, by the way. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen games, and they're supposedly on fifteen. Uh, or... <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> I was about to say, are you like, did you get ten two and both thirteens? Okay, you did. And Crisis Core. Then it would be nineteen. Oh, yeah, nineteen. Okay. Actually, twenty because uh, you have to count the Cerberus too. Actually, no. Actually, it's more than that because there's a there's a spinoff game for uh, twelve and a spinoff game for four. So yeah, it's more than that. For main series games, at least. Anyway, we'll probably see that. We'll probably see Battlefield. will probably make a reappearance at Sony. You say? Because yeah. You usually like some of the things that happen at like EA or Ubisoft get a reappearance at a later conference if they're not in a Microsoft's conference. I forgot what it was, but uh, I think yeah, Watch Dogs got a got a second appearance at Sony's press conference after Ubisoft. 
It was qu far quicker, mind you, but it got two appearances at press conference. Hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if EA and Ubisoft get, if we have a couple repeats for Sony. Probably a whole lot of PSN, PlayStation 4, a whole, whole lot of PSN focus. Maybe try to beef up what you get for your price. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think all your usual suspects are going to appear. I have to wonder what franchise what franchises are going to appear. Because that's my question. Is who's it's like who's bringing what to the table, uh, studio wise? Because I would assume Uncharted's coming to the coming to the show. I know people are going like Last of Us Two, Last of Us Two, because one of the designers decided to decide to post on his Twitter an older Ellie concept art. <laughs> yes, this actually happened, and everyone was like. <gasps> Last of Us 2 confirmed! <laughs> and he went back and was like, ah, it's just the concept art, folks. Calm down. <laughs> I'd have to think maybe Mortal Kombat makes an appearance in either Microsoft or Sony. There's rumblings. Uh, what else? Sony's got a lot of cards to play. So it's hard, hard to say what's, what is and what isn't going to be there. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I think Sony's Sony's might be the most interesting to to wait on because there's so much they can do. It's it's a real question of what will they do and what is being brought to the table because I, I I know Uncharted's going to be there. Uncharted's been in development long enough that they're going to have something at show. I know Final Fantasy XV is going to make a reappearance. People, Sony shocked people with that announcement. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring it back once more. <laughs> Just to be like, here, like last year, you got a trailer. Now, here's a demo of Final Fantasy XV. And then maybe at the top it all off, we get a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. Because the, we've been getting bits and pieces of Kingdom Hearts 3 over time. Uh... Maybe a new Ratchet and Clank game? I don't know. Uh, yeah. There's plenty Sony can do, and it will be probably impressive to see what's going to happen. Can we move on to Nintendo, then, if anyone else has anything else to say? Nope. No? Alright, Nintendo! On to people who don't give a crap. On to Nintendo, who won't be doing the live press conference, it'll be more digital event. At, on Tuesday, June 10th at 9 a.m. Oh, Nintendo, oh, Nintendo. You've got cards to play, too. I think they just don't want to play them. I think they're just kind of like, yeah, we're in the background. We don't care. Well, first and foremost, we have the, the Nintendo figure stuff. Which, especially since someone, I think from Nintendo Europe, confirmed... That it will work with Smash Brothers. He didn't say how. He didn't say to what extent. He said it will work with Smash Brothers. Hmm. Which I think it makes me go. Okay. You're working with Smash Brothers. What else you're working with? I'm not positive. But I think I remember. The game. That we were talking about. What game? The Assassin's Creed other one. Not Unity. I think it's called Um Yes. That's what yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. that's the other Assassin's Creed project that's that we know nothing about it except the fact it's Comet. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna come and go and no and come and go and everyone will be excited for about five seconds. Nope, no one. No what did one. you ask? I was, I was cracking a joke about the comment title. What? Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, yeah. That's going to come and go, and everyone's going to be excited, excited about it for about five seconds. 
<laughs> Sorry, brain wasn't working right there, but yeah. Ah. Right. Yeah. I kind of, I'm wondering how much of that is going to be at the is going to be a, a kind of a center of the press conference. If it's going to be like a big part of the press conference, we're going to see it appear appear in a lot of games. Because they they said before that they want this to be multi game support. Uh, that X game that we got last year, I think is going to make a reappearance again, and we're going to get an actual title for it besides a letter. An actual uh, title? <laughs> yes. It won't just be that Project X game. I think people are expecting it to be a Xeno Gears game. I think. What is Xeno Gears? I have no idea. <laughs> I am not familiar with the franchise. Uh, probably a whole lot of 3DS support uh, in new Pokemon games will probably be the centerpiece of that. Uh, Wait, what? The 3DS will probably no, be a big. No, nothing. I'm. Uh, I kind of uh, skipped ahead, sort of. Uh, okay. Uh, probably a big Wii U push. Especially with Smash Bros. coming out, they're going to want to showcase what else is coming on the Wii U. Hopefully. Hopefully more than just three games are going to come out and come out on the damn console this year. They're going to be worth a damn. Hopefully. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of expect Nintendo's to be the shortest. Because while I have cards to play, they're probably going to be like, here it is, and here we go. <laughs> Like, here's this game. Next. Here's this game. Next. Mm. They're going to just show it and be done with it. And we might have a little bit of talk in between. I'm, I'm mostly curious on what this whole Nintendo figure thing is going to be. Because if they can pull it off really well, I think that's going to be a big boom for them. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you guys think about Nintendo going into E3? I don't know. I think this could be Nintendo's time to shine, actually. Yeah. It could be a chance for Nintendo to swoop in and be like, All right, we, all right we've held off. Here's everything you want. It's time we impress people. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Buglock, what do you think? I really don't know. Well, that, that pretty much covers all the press conferences. So let's talk that list of games IGN has of everything that will probably be there. Wait, what? Uh, the, the list of games. Uh, not that I'm looking at the list of games now, and I just saw something, and it's kind of like, wait, what? This game uh, is actually going to be at E3? What? What is it? Bro Force. Oh, that's already out. I know it's already out. That's why I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Current games show up at E3, trust me. That's that's kind of a trend. But it's one of those current games that's like, yeah, it was cool in the beginning, but then it got boring. Why is it still here? <laughs> Watch Dogs will be at E3. Why? Because it's still on sale. All Fair right. enough. All right. Looking through. Both Assassin's Creed projects are there. Uh, Alien Isolation. You'll be curious. I'll be curious to see what happens there. I actually really want to see that game. Yeah. That game looks like it's going to be fun. Battlecry from Bethesda? I've heard something PC action about game. that. The uh, two Battlefields, Battlefield Friday proper, and then Battlefield Hardline. Yay. Uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Fun little game there coming from uh, Take Two, or not Take Two, uh, Telltale. Why not just say the prequel? Because it's the pre-sequel. It, it's... <laughs> it's not it's a, a prequel. It's not a sequel. It's a pre-sequel. 
it's Telltale. They're they're having fun with the fact that it's a prequel and a sequel. <laughs> it's just what Telltale does. <laughs> uh big old fish coming in. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Oh, fantastic! Oh, we get to see some of that. Yes, the fish will I'm be flopping in. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> You know what it's going to be focusing on, though? What? The worms. <laughs> uh, the, fact that, the fact that I don't care. <laughs> why can't I... games go back to being, you know, story-driven? They oh, are! If you only play but... Call of Duty for the single player, it kind of is. Yeah. It It's the multiplayer that is a piece of shit. Agreed. Kind of like how uh, they did Halo 4's multiplayer, but yeah, we're not going in there. <laughs> Let's uh, not you talk about that so we don't get kicked off of Twitch or wherever we are. Alright, Civilization Beyond Earth, I'll be curious about that. That that looked like cool from what I've seen. I wanted to see this. I actually really wanted to see Civilization Beyond Earth. Let's see... Do, 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 do. Destiny! Ooh, that's probably going to get a conference debut. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Now the question is who, who's who gets it? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Sony wound up getting it. Yeah, cause... simply because Microsoft has Sony's too many big evolve. ones. Up oh, the second lock. I don't know, cause Sony's probably going to get evolved. Uh, Sony's getting Destiny as well. Destiny's multi-platform. True. I'm sure Evolve will be on... Uh, Evolve might get showcased too, but yeah, Destiny's multi-platform. I don't know if Bungie's like, eh, let's give, some, give it to Sony. Cause it, was Destiny at Microsoft's press conference last year? Because I, I want to say it was, but I'm not sure. I think it was. Yeah, and we got the same demo both times. Which was kind of disappointing. Yeah. Uh, Disney Infinity will be there. Dragon Age, EA Sports UFC, The Evil Within. That will be a curious one because I've heard some mixed things about Evil Within. Much as that thing looked cool, it's to give you getting a mixed reaction now because it, it may not be holding up too well. Uh, Evolve, like Lock said, uh, Fable Legends, which, is that the Fable Collection? Or is that uh, something else? I think that's oh, wait, something no. else. Yeah, it is, the, the five-player simultaneous online game based on the Fable Mythos. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They showed it off last year as a trailer, and that was about it. <laughs> uh, Far Cry 4 might get a little bit of screen time. Gears of War, I see unless Gears of War 4, I don't know about that. Mm. We get that. I That's think we will get a tease for it, yeah. but I don't think we'll get anything serious. I think it's going to kind of be like Halo 5 was. Yeah. It's kind of just going to be there, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, Halo 5 Guardians and Halo the Master Chief Collection are both listed. Uh, I, still, I don't know how much of Halo 5 we're going to get, especially when they're coming out next year. We're probably not going to get a lot. Yeah. Halo's always had the October-November releases. So they're not going to give us too much on Halo 5 with it being told that it's coming out next year. They're just they're going to give us a little bit more and then kind of hold off all other information until next E3. Yeah. Let's see. Hyrule Warriors, they have listed, even though that has not have a confirmed uh, North American release. That's got a Japanese release. It doesn't have a North American release. I would be curious to see if they bring it over. That'd be something different. Wait. 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 They're making a second Killer Instinct? Didn't that game kind of crash and burn on its first one? Uh, you mean the Xbox One one? Yeah. I think it's went okay. Really? I don't think it's like because taken... all of the all of the warriors except for two were freaking they were paid for. I, I don't know. 
Let's see, Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, we'll probably see a little bit, but not much. If we get a demo, I'm flipping my... I'll be flipping out. Just, just, just saying. All I'm gonna say is, if we get, like, a full demo for Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm flipping out, son. I'll be doing flips and shit. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, what? Block. Context. Context. <gasps> oh my god! Context, Glock! Context! They're making a third Metro! Okay. <laughs> uh, Madden oh NFL my god! Oh, we haven't seen Mad Max since mind. last year's E3. Never mind, it's just a freaking reboot of the two games. Okay. That we, sucks. Yeah, we haven't seen Mad Max since uh, E3. Really? I saw a little bit of it. It was surprisingly interesting. Yeah. As Effect 4 will probably be a cornerstone of a well, centerpiece of a EA's press conference. Yeah. If there's going to be anything. Uh, Phantom Pain. Kojima's went on record saying that the, the new Phantom Pain trailer that will be at E3 will be hard to watch. His words. Huh. Why? 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 Yeah, the, the new Phantom Pain trailer will be hard to watch. Is it going to be that brutal? Well, considering that the la that last year's E3 trailer includes torture, probably. And they couldn't even air the full one on E3. Uh, let's see, a brand new Monster Hunter for the 3DS. Uh, Mirror's Edge 2. About skipped over that. Uh, No Man's Sky. I want to say I've heard of that, but I can't remember. What the heck is Natural Doctrine? Doctrine, and what the heck is an NIS? What is NIS? I don't. Them. I don't know where you're at. Where'd you go? Uh, it's above No Man's Sky. Okay, I see it. The Natural Doctrine. Never heard N of NSI. Who is NSI? There. I don't know. Let me do a quick search. And it's NIS, actually. A little dyslexic on that one, Glock. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I said NSI? I thought I said NIS! No, you said NSI. NSI. Mm. Sorry? Get a little dyslexic there, Glock. NSI. Right. <laughs> Order 1886. Oh, God, if we get a Persona 5 demo. I don't know if that'd be, if that'd be that interesting, but oh, God. I'd do flips and shit in, too. Mm. Motherfuck. Uh, Omega and Alpha probably be a part of Nintendo's press conference. Oh my god, if if we get Kingdom Hearts, if, if we get a Kingdom Hearts three and Persona five demo, I'm gonna be severely biased in calling Sony the best conference of the E three this year. Like severely biased. <laughs> uh, Project Spark will probably make an appearance. Uh, Quantum Most Break likely. will Most probably likely. be a yeah. Be a part of Xbox One's pro uh, not Xbox One, Microsoft's press conference. <sighs> SMT Crossfire Emblem. Oh God, please tell me we get something besides that lit that tease from last year. I love how I love how you skipped over Transistor. I have no idea what Transistor is. Transistor is actually a game made by the same people that made Bastion. Oh, oh, it's that one. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, and it's actually good. <laughs> yeah, I for ah. Uh, that's part of why I don't keep up with indies. That's why I didn't recognize it offhand. Um, this thing is kind of... I, I wouldn't trust this thing anymore. It still has attack squadrons on it. Oh, pivoty poverty poo you pala Everything else is fine. They just probably, probably forgot to take all attack squadrons off. Uh, Skylanders Trap Team. That'll be interesting to see how, uh... Skylanders and Disney are going to react to what Nintendo might bring to the table. Sonic Boom with their new character who is crazy. They, they released a new trailer where they're showing off a new character that's a badger and she cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And this surprises uh, you. It doesn't. Alright, Battlefront and the Visual Star Wars Project. Be interesting to see. Sunset Overdrive, Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U, Tales from the Borderlands. Wait. Wait a minute. That's... Wait. Wait a minute. Borderlands, the pre-sequel's not... Wait a minute. 
Okay, I have no idea what pre-sequel is now, because I thought that was the Telltale game. It's not! Oops. Well. Oh, that's why it's the pre-sequel, because it takes place between, between Borderlands 1 and 2. Ah. Oops. <laughs> I, I thought that was the Telltale game. It's not! It's a proper Borderlands. Oops. Oh, look! The Division's gonna be a part of it, of course. Yeah. Wait, they're making another Warhammer 40k? Uh, I guess. The Eternal Crusade. Hmm. Uh, which three? Wolfenstein New Order will be there. WWE 2K15. I wonder about the bringing new to the table. Apparently, from the recent NXT event, uh, there was a whole lot of 2K15 uh, advertisements, and the 2K logo was in NXT colors. Hmm. So a lot oh? of people are speculating that in, that uh, 2K15 will have a lot of focus on NXT. Which is WWE's current developmental program. So maybe a career mode will take you from uh, NXT up to the main roster. Which would be a cool idea. X Blaze Code Embryo. And finally, X, the, uh, the monolith project for the Wii U that we don't know too much about. What was that? Did they ever announce what that project that, um, um, uh, words Mammoth Tusk was words. working on or Black Tusk was working on? Uh, last year they announced that Black Tusk was coming up and they were working on a big project. Uh, that would probably be Gears of War because that's who's working on the new Gears of War. Oh, okay. They're they're the ones that Microsoft's got got working on Gears of War now that they own the franchise. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. All right. But yeah, that's what we expect from E3. Uh, not much, is there? Wait, wait. They're making a second Hotline Miami. Uh, looks like it. What? <laughs> hey, Hotline Miami was a was a bit of a bit of a big success. Hotline Miami was absolutely ridiculous with it, with, with what it was. It was literally you're going around murdering people in this <laughs> yeah. top-down 8-bit world. Yeah. I will say the list is a little bit shorter than I thought it would be, but maybe everyone's holding back on what they're showing off. Because honestly, Probably. I was expecting this year's E3 to be all about games. Because both consoles, all the consoles are out, ain't nobody got new hardware to show off. We got new con. We, we got Unless, games. of course, Nintendo's going to pull something out their rear. <laughs> no, they confirmed that it's too soon for a new console for them. They're riding the Wii U out as long as it normally would take for a console, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, I fully expect this year's E3 to be all about games. We're gonna, it's gonna be all about the games because we've got no new boxes to talk about. We got no new hardware to be teasing and about or to be debuting. You know, Microsoft decides to do something stupid again. Want a new version of the Xbox One to have three versions of the damn console out at the same time? <laughs> Why? Well, yes, we have the Xbox One Lite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yes, that's no, that's no, that's the gonna go presenting the Xbox 1.0. No, 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 the Xbox One Slim. <laughs> oh, God. we we don't need an Xbox One Slim, we really don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got my games excited about what, you know, what are you guys excited you about. Know. You said we don't need an Xbox One Slim. Why don't we need Xbox uh, X-Bones? Because <laughs> we don't need our dog, dog to be choking on any more X-Bones. <laughs> Sorry, but no. The thing is not a chew toy. It is not healthy for the dog to be chewing on it. But yeah, what are you guys excited about games-wise? Kind of stuff that I have. Honestly, there's a lot. 
it, yeah. it'd probably be a shorter list if I said the ones that I wasn't more interested in. Okay. Si- okay. <laughs> well, let's narrow it down. What would you? What if you got to see playable would make you start doing flips and shit? Mirror's Edge Two. I don't know. Mirror's that, Edge Two. Because for me, that's Persona 5, that is SMT Crossfire Emblem, and that is Kingdom Hearts 3. I will I will back them, I will do backflips and record it and put it on the internet before I go to the hospital. <laughs> break my neck doing so. If that gets that gets demos at E3. Granted, I don't expect the Persona 5 one to get a demo because that is T that is a Tokyo Game Show material, not E3 material, but still. <laughs> I, I would I would do backflips and shit for for uh, getting a gameplay to, getting a, a demo of that at E3. I don't know. I guess it'd probably surprise me a lot if we wound up getting some Halo Five gameplay. Yeah. Because I mean, really, that is not expected right now. What if they confirm that the entire game is going to be built around four player co op? Like, truly built for four-player co-op. Uh, I don't know. But you get to play as the Arbiter, and the new guy, and Chief, and some other schmuck. <laughs> and some other schmuck. <laughs> well, we don't have a fourth person to talk about yet. I mean, unless we count, like, one of the Spartan, unless we count the Spartan chick that got introduced in four. That or your Spartan Ops character, maybe he comes back in the main campaign. I don't even. Oh yeah, maybe. Or or June gets a surprise appearance. Oh Jesus! <laughs> now we're pulling stuff out of rear, ain't we? <laughs> hey, I know who that new Spartan is. It's, it's June. June. <laughs> but they've said it's a new character. So. They've lied before. Yes, yeah. they have. Yeah, I would point, say, look at the Xbox One release. Yeah, I would say Destiny, but we've seen enough gameplay for that. So Seriously. Yeah. That'd be the only other one that I would like to see. But, I mean, we've got, we've probably got all the gameplay we're going to get out of that. Yeah, it's just like, can the game come out yet? No. Can it come out yet? No. Can it come out yet? No. Can it come out yet? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, I would be excited for Mass Effect 4, but I got burned on the previous one, so I'm like, eh. I, I, Maybe I feel... they'll pull something out their rear and end up shocking us all with an amazing new... Yes, Mass Effect 4 completely rewrites Mass Effect 3 to be better. <laughs> I Maybe would... the ending to Hell, that'd the probably ending get people the game that shall not be named was not yeah. in vain. Yeah. The... That's a big maybe, but yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what we're all excited about. I know I'm going to be glued to my damn laptop more than I normally am when that comes, and hell, that'll get me waking up at a decent time. Because I usually wake up about 12 o'clock in the, at noon these days. That's about when I wake up. Hey. All right. Any other thoughts on E3 before we move on? Mm, no. I'm Black, assuming the thoughts? silence from Glock is a no. Yeah, it's a no. All right. Let's talk leases real quick before we... Uh, Get the quick draws and wrap up for the night. So, we're going to be picking up on the 3rd of June. Oh, we're not doing the 1st? There is nothing for the 1st. Yep, yeah, that this was picking up on the 3rd because there is no one for the 1st. Oh, or the I see second. what you mean. Okay. Yeah. So, MotoGP 14 coming out on Vita, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. No Xbox One, because they didn't like the Xbox One. Apparently. <laughs> uh, also coming out on third, out of fucking nowhere, I swear, 
murdered Soul Suspect, which was <laughs> had a big spot last year at E3. What the? What the fuck? No one, else, no one feels like advertising this game. <laughs> no. see commercial for us, but I swear I've not seen a release date. I did not know it was coming out next week. <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, 360, space, PS3, PC. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been it seeing a lot of commercials. Spice. Yep. I've <laughs> been seeing a lot of commercials for this on uh, Twitch. Wildstar coming out on the PC, a brand new MMO. Wildstar? Looked... Yeah. Looked alright. Uh, coming out on the 6th, Tomodachi Life for the 3DS. I'll be hearing what plenty. What is this game? I have no idea. All I know is Mega G Wolf on YouTube is picking it up. So I think it's it something. deals with the maze. Probably. Hell if I know. It's a thing that exists, and I kind of don't care. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Next up, coming out on the tenth. Enemy Front on the PS3, 360, and PC, along with a movie tying game, How to Train Your Dragon 2, on the 10th as well, for Wii U, Wii, PS3, 3DS, Xbox 360. No next gen, because it looks weird. According to the game. Really? Best excuse I have to come up with. Okay. Hmm. And I think that will do it. Yep, that will do it. As my releases never did load the second page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we got nothing else. So, we're, we're done past E3. Maybe then, it's not that much. Wait a second, hold up. What? Why was I never informed that they were making a third divinity? I didn't know they were making a third divinity. I even know what divinity is. <laughs> Here to clue us in, Glock. Divinity is like um you know Skyrim? Yes. Think of uh think of divinity as a an older and less it's your basic uh, uh, it's your basic rpg okay. it's your basic rpg that's set in a setting like uh skyrim ah. you know the, the the mythical monsters trolls imps etc so a bare bones pigs, basic fancy rpg animals. Because uh, it kind of sounds like just a bare bones fancy RPG. It doesn't yep. sound like it has anything special to it. All right, that shall move us on into quick draws. Mm -hmm. And you would what? I just saw your quick draw. <laughs> you not, I told you this would be my quick draw yesterday. Mm -hmm. Really. Yes. I wasn't paying attention, apparently, but... Alright. For those who are unaware, Ruby is the originally animated series that Rooster Teeth has been doing. Volume 1 has come and gone, and now we're on the cusp of Volume 2 being released, or Season 2, as it says in the article. It will premiere in July at, R at Rooster Teeth's own convention, RTX. Why does Rooster Teeth have their own convention? Because, shut up, anyone can have a convention. <laughs> Good enough excuse. If they can pack a convention. They can back if they can pack a convention center. They can have their own convention, which they do. They can pack the convention center. Uh, yeah, Austin Convention Center in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. they, they can they, they can get a lot of people out for it, and they'll Dang. be doing volume two there. But to tie this over in the meantime, they've been doing production diaries covering the uh, design process for Ruby. And recently, they've released the new Weiss statue, along with the opening titles for Volume 2 and a credulous version of the opening for Volume 1. And we're going to be taking a look at the Volume 2 opening. 
queued up and ready. Same here. All right, taking a look at the volume two opening in for Ruby in three, two, one, go. Mr. T. There's a point where it tips, there's a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point we just can't take anymore. There's a line that will cross and there's no return, there's a time and a place, no bridges left to burn anymore. We can't just wait with lines to take until they think we're ready. Our enemies are gathering, the storm is blowing down. Now it's time to say goodbye to the things we love and the ending things we go. Now it's time to seem to fall. We can't relax and it's all I did to be real with you. Dad. Did I mention that they've done extensive work to update the uh, update all of the animation stuff they've been working on? So this see, this volume was going to be far smoother than the volume one. I am actually and in my opinion, to watch volume two now. And, and in my opinion, volume one felt pretty damn smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> Which, by the way, I got Tommy over here to marathon the entire thing in a day. <laughs> You're about to get me to marathon it too. It's all you on to. YouTube and Blip for free and on Crunchyroll for free too. All I have to deal with is a single ad. Pretty much. But yeah. Uh, Ruby is fantastic. I love the fact that everyone's weapon is also a gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ruby, uh, Ruby Rose, uh, the main character, the one in red. Uh, her, her scythe. Yeah, that's a sniper rifle. A sniper rifle. You can still fire it when it's a scythe. Uh, R Ruby is a fantastic little series, and it's kind of made me like I might like it more than Red vs. Blue. And I like Red vs. Blue, especially since they've gotten Monty Oom on and had him do a whole bunch of fight choreography, and they've really bumped up them doing original animation for uh, Red vs. Blue as well. I think it's really improved Red vs. Blue overall. Hmm. But yeah, Ruby Volume 2 in July. You want to support this? Hey, you can get the song for the opening, the full version, on iTunes for a dollar. One dollar. Technically 99 cents, but it's a dollar, essentially. You get... Hell, you can get the entire Volume 1 soundtrack for, I think, like 14 bucks on iTunes as well. You can get the Volume 1 DVD... With all the episodes, plus you know, plus behind the scenes stuff on you know, on Rich Cheese website for twenty. Support these people. Monty Hume's doing a fantastic job heading up this project along with everyone else at Rooster Teeth. Go go watch it. Just go watch it. Tommy, you're quick draw. Mm -hmm. All right, mine's a shout out to something I think I did cover a little bit about before, but it is Steam's in-home streaming. The closed beta that was out there is now over, and it has been open to the public. Yay! Essentially, this is a precursor to how the Steam machines are going to be able to work. You're going to have one computer that will still technically be running the game, and you will be able to play it on another computer no matter what its specs are so that you can hook that to your TV. Yay. Honestly, in the age of laptops, this is kind of pointless. But it is good to see that Valve is at least wanting to focus solely on getting towards Steam machines being everywhere. Yeah. Especially when I can play my, uh, my PC games on my TV because of a single HDMI cable and a capture device. Yeah, and I believe that article said the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Ba basically, if I'm not mistaken, the writer in here said something about... Uh, yeah. I have a se semi-decent laptop with an HDMI port. 
So I think I might extreme, experiment with in-home streaming over the weekend. Okay. That's what it says in here. Yeah. But I love this comment right here. I've already got my PC running on my TV. My secret weapon, a big-ass HDMI cable. The answer for everyone right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that's what you were going to bring up because I saw that immediately. Hell, that's my secret weapon too. Except mine's Hell, a that's pretty how good mine's laptop. running right now. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> but, yeah. It, it's interesting to see how this is progressive, but... I'm just kind of wondering in the back of my mind the whole time, how far is this actually going to go? Because there's going to be that limit where everyone's going to be like, okay, why are we even doing this? <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, that kind of wraps up for mine. Glock, off to you. Mine actually brings up a game that was touched on a little here and a little there and it just wasn't really given any spotlight so I guess it won't really matter much to many people but the really really quiet game that was originally supposed to come out in 2014 Quantum Break the strange game that's supposed to go along with a TV show type thing or something like that. Um, it's been delayed to 2015. Um, it's just... It just seems interesting. Although, in, in retribution to their delay, um, Remedy released three screenshots and a trailer uh the three screenshots showcase the different parts of the gameplay and i wanted to watch the video so all right queued right. up queued up all right in three two one I'm Sam Lake from Remedy, and I'm here to talk about Quantum Break. Quantum Break is the fusion of a cinematic action game yeah, it's same and a top-of-the-line live-action show. Yep. The game is about heroes, the show is about villains. In the game, you play Jack Joyce in a desperate fight to stop the fracture that threatens to cause the end of time. In the show, in the style of an edgy modern TV series, you follow the schemes and power play inside Monarch, the corporation that's Jack's main enemy. We are working hard to bring you an entertainment experience like no other. Quantum Break will be out in 2015. I'm very excited to tell you that we'll be presenting Quantum Break's time amplified action gameplay for the first time ever in August at Gamescom. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come later this summer. Enjoy. see what you did there it wasn't that fun <laughs> i honestly am intrigued by this game oh did you catch the monarch logo in the glass yes <laughs> it's a bit bold that. of them to have the tv series based around the villains that is gonna be kind of interesting isn't it 
or how well it go over, but it all depends on the writing. True. Not too surprised they're holding off the Gamescom for this, uh, especially. Uh, I don't. Yeah, Gamescom's in August, as I said. Gamescom's off in uh, Germany, for those who don't know, and is the big gaming convention for Europe, I want to say. I don't think there's anything else really big for Europe in terms of a gaming convention. I don't really think so either. Yeah. I've got a question, though. What? Mm -hmm. Look at that third screenshot on the bottom. What the heck is he shooting at? It doesn't look human. Uh, mech suit. That's what it kind of looks like is a mech suit. Yeah, it's a mech suit. It's in the trailer. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just some dude in a, a, like a souped-up mech suit. What the hell it does, I don't know, besides look like a shiny target to shoot at. <laughs> so I guess that takes out one game that we'll probably see at E3. Quantum Break probably won't have that much of a big can say if they're holding off a uh, stuff till Gamescon. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. We'll have plenty of other things to talk about. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully. for sure. So folks, that will close us out for tonight. As we ever so closer to our week-long coverage of E3, along with the premiere of Season 6. PSR. Why do I like that's all the same week? Yeah. Great. So take take this next week as a nice break because the week after, uh, yeah, we're 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 working a lot. I Figuring thought we agreed not to work all week. We're not working Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we agreed we weren't going to do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday thing. You know what I just thought about, though? What? We're technically going to have next Saturday off. What I meant. <laughs> technically, and, but... And Sunday, because uh, we done decided no rampant gaming for the E3 week. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably stream, though. <laughs> no. That's we kind of the no stream. work. <laughs> But like, you also do realize that, is there how we have to gather articles now? What that means for us trying to do that on a daily basis for a week? It's not going to be easy. Oh. Best thing is, I don't have school or any type of work, so I get to do it all day. Yeah, but good thing is, you can do it as it's going in. Pretty much. <laughs> It's not like with TGS where you got to go back through two weeks worth of posts and hope that you can find everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. Everything will be... I will be able to get everything just, like, immediately. <laughs> I'm not just sit there all day during E3 coverage with, a, with an open form topic, just dropping in article after article. It's probably going to be the easiest way to it. Yeah. So yeah, folks, check us out. We'll start with tomorrow, as we have our first TGS, our special for Season 5, where we take a look at the Gaim Wizard movie. Then check us out next Friday for Rampant Gaming, as we play something maybe related to E3. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't we'll, know. We'll be taking a break that next Saturday, but starting Monday, pretty much 9 o'clock, every night from Monday through Saturday, it is TGS coverage of E3 Monday through Thursday. A regular episode of TGS on Friday with whatever the hell else we're going to be able to talk about. Oh, we'll find something. Yeah. Uh, that probably will probably be the one TGS that might be filled with a lot of filler news. Yeah. And then on Saturday, we have our big debut premiere of Season 6 of TGSR to round out the week-long fun content stuff as we attempt to kill ourselves with all of it. So, yep. plenty of stuff coming up, folks. Check us out then.
for Glock and for Tommy. I'm peace. Not everybody. As always, you can find the Game and Slim on our site at tgstgsr.org. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias, on Twitter by following at TG Saloon, on Facebook at facebook.com slash thegamingsaloon, and on YouTube at youtube.com slash TG Saloon. The mobile app is on hiatus. There will be a new modified app coming soon. Check the site for more information. Also, the Season 6 badge contest where the viewers can guess what the next show for TGSR is is up on the forums. Be sure to head over there and take your guess at what we're watching for Season 6. Till next time.